out real quick for y'all. Yes, sir. In a little bit. Yeah. I'm. Be I am being faked out. I. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Falcon just jumped above me and. Beta chair dot. I. I <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got need. All right, but. There are going to be no needs in this match flying. It's going to end up being Mew Squared versus TC's Muse. Mm -hmm. That's Team Crystal. Yes, sir. Uh, same, same little group as uh, Alpha Rad. Mm -hmm. Shout-outs to him for making this happen. As always. And then, like I was saying, character variety over here. Mm -hmm. It's going to end up being a Mewtwo and a Toon Link. Well, you know what's funny? Um, I think it was the Cloud Patch, so 1.13. Mm. We had um, we had Mewtwo, man. He ganged some very wonderful buffs. His forward yes. air, he got a buff to his run speed. His up air had a, a sweet spot to it. So the up air is so pivotal. It's pretty godly now. Beforehand, if you were like above Mewtwo in the air, mm -hmm. it was a it wasn't as bad of a time as it is now because you can actually die at around like 100, 120 up the, way up there when Mewtwo can send you. Absolutely, but here we go right now, getting into uh, game one here, first match, and we're going to Smashville. So there is no surprise there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually. I'm actually okay with this matchup. Mewtwo versus uh, Toon Link. I mean, obviously, you know, my side special reflects a lot of projectiles, right. which kind of limits Toon Link in, uh, in certain situations. Um, I think the best thing that Mewtwo Square, Mew Squared, excuse me, so, uh, focus on is keeping Toon Link out. He's a big body. He's floaty. And then on top of that, he bounces when he hits the ground. So, I mean, we know Toon Link, he wants those chain of up airs to, um, or up tilts, excuse me, to up air. To be fair, mm -hmm. he only gets those really, really good low percent combos. Once Mewtwo's at like this percent, mid percent, he knows he's not going to die at anything. He needs to get in Muse's face because if he gives him time to pull a bomb, mm -hmm. that's when Toon Link actually becomes a terrifying character. Absolutely. Without a bomb, he has some kind of slow normals. Doesn't have the best use out of him mm -hmm. if he's just kind of throwing him out. But once he has a bomb, he can confirm into some scary moves. Get kill confirms. Pretty low percent. Absolutely, man. The bomb into back air. Goodness gracious. Let me tell you about that. Mm -hmm. But if you keep in his face, don't let him pull a bomb. Mm -hmm. He becomes kind of mediocre, has to run away a little bit, mm -hmm. and then he's on his back foot. Yeah, he definitely plays a plays a bit more of a safe game. And it also doesn't help, too, that Mewtwo is also the second lightest character in the game. So pretty much uh, too much anything from Toon Link could take him out at relatively low percentages. One thing I'm already seeing that I'm liking out of Mew Squared mm -hmm. is he's very patient in his shield when yes. Toon Link throws a bomb at it. Mm -hmm. That is the biggest thing that I see Toon Links do a lot. They'll throw the bomb at your shield, Kind of bait stuff out, wait for you to drop shield as it's coming down, because you're like, oh, the bomb's coming back down. I'm terrified. Mm -hmm. um, but if you just wait in the shield, you notice it's not really safe pressure. You'll be able to punish them if you just kind of wait. Yes, sir. And Toon Link has a lot of a lot of combos right now that are that will eat your shield up, especially like I said with that uh, that last cloud patch. Mm -hmm. Okay, so right now they're filling each other out. That was a nice dash attack there. The dash attack is also another move that had a pretty significant buff to it. Oh my God. Yeah, and that's one of the issues that uh, Mewtwo has. Like I said, man, he just he catches so much with just being big and floaty. And then on top of that, him not being able to regain his footing as he lands is just something that is just very pivotal for high-level gameplay. You gotta, Landing yeah. is so rough when you're a giant character who's uh, super floaty. And Toon Link is very, very familiar with abusing their uh, opponents in the air. Oh, yeah. Especially since he actually has a sword. Mewtwo has a lot of range with his tail, but that's not a disjoint. He actually is throwing out a giant hurt box at you. Absolutely. Toon Link, Ooh. while it's not the biggest disjoint, he still has a bit of a disjoint mm -hmm. throwing out that sword. So one thing I really like that Mew Square is doing. Oh, my God. Nice forward. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. okay. And that did it. <laughs> that took it. Wow. Okay. I did not. He just flew off to the side. I really like how he was reading um, reading Muse's get-ups off the ledge, man. Short hop nair. The short hop nair is actually a wonderful tool that Mewtwo has. Um, if you short hop it, it actually turns you around. Turns you backwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So then, of course, after that, you know, you get your follow-up grabs, down throws, you know, all, all those low percentage combos. I like to call that Mew Foo. <laughs> Mew Foo at low percentages, man. It's a, it's some scary stuff. But like oh you said, goodness. at high percentages, it's, it's a different story. Oh, yeah. It's a definitely I mean. different story. When both characters are mid-percent, I feel like Mew Mewtwo definitely wants to go in and get there because, mm -hmm. like I said, abuse the fact. Mm -hmm. If Toon Link can't get up tilt chains, he can't do much up close. Yes, sir. All right. Going next game to Battlefield. I almost feel like this is counterpicking himself. Mm -hmm. This is one of Mewtwo's favorite stages, Mew Squared's favorite stages. It's amazing. He can cover platforms so well. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, and then on top of that, he doesn't have to worry about getting abused as much because, like you said, he has the platforms for cushioning. He can kind of get out of the way of a lot. 
That said, I have heard about Muse as a player. He really enjoys platform camping. Mm -hmm. This gives him a lot of room to work with. Ooh. Right now, it's giving Muse Squared a lot of time to extend his combos, throwing out that big tail. Yes, sir, man. Keeping Toon Link off of his feet, man, and keeping him in the air, and uh, which also keeps him in range of, like, uh, forward airs. Just right. Yep. Just Does like he that. Have a jump? He's uh, waiting for the bomb. I think he's, he's going to make the bomb it. as well. Toon Link's bombs just take forever to explode. It's really, uh, it's really rough in certain situations. He just got a grab release to down tilt. That was pretty smart. I haven't seen that setup from you. Oh, and that's it. That's going to do it. 29% so, on Mewtwo. Absolutely. So like in the uh, the early Mewtwo days when he first came out, like back in April, I mean, there was that um, that Mewtwo combo where he would use a side special that would uh, put you on top of the, on platform, the platform and, and then, then just up, the up smash, smash every turn. Man. Right now, I mean, it feels even to me, mm -hmm. but it's definitely there's a stock deficit right here that's being played with it. Muse Absolutely. doesn't seem like it's affecting his gameplay at all, mm -hmm. which might not be the best of things because if he's playing the same way that lost him that stock and only got him 29%, he's not going to get dividends. Yeah, I think the issue that Muse is having is that um, he doesn't have the reach that Mewtwo has in terms of physicality. Um, so I think he should definitely kick up the um, the projectile game just a bit. Mewtwo, I mean, as you see, he's trying to he's trying to bait it out so he can throw his projectiles back, but he can only reflect so much at a time. Right. And then also you can't forget about Mewtwo's fantastic back throw. That is true. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's like pound for pound second best in the game. Ooh, Ooh and that back air pretty strong in itself, mm -hmm. taking that stock, but he's sitting at 108%. Mm -hmm. He's got a bit of a hill to climb if he wants to take this game to true. But also you got the factor in that the blast zones here are huge. That's and true. on top of that, he has a bit of rage on his side. Okay. Ooh. But that forward hair mm -hmm. saying it doesn't really care about rage, it's going to smack you off the side of the screen. Yeah. That was rough. But Muse definitely put on a fantastic display of skill, and he definitely held it down the best way that he could. So. I mean, 